any clear leadership. So the big problem for the government, and one of Dilma's uh, advisers have been, has been expressing this, is who to negotiate with, about what. So Dilma's Husef's words will have to be very, very carefully expressed. A week is a long time in politics, and it's a long time in protest. When these protests first started, the protesters were portrayed as vandals and hooligans. They've become now heroes of Brazilian democracy, and I'm sure that Dilma Rousseff will refer to the original protesters in glowing terms tonight and will say that their original demands were legitimate and continue to be legitimate. Now, that does come as the clean-up operation continues after one and a quarter million people did take to the streets uh, Thursday. On Friday, there were another 35 protests around the country. Much of the frustration directed at the billions spent on next year's Football World Cup, indeed the Confederations Cup warm-up tournament that's currently taking place, has become a target, a mammoth demo due to coincide with that final on uh, June the 30th. FIFA reiterating Friday there is no plan B, though, and the World Cup will be held in Brazil. As the original pacifist groups, though, behind the movement have quit, concern is growing. It's being hijacked by extremist elements. Oliver Farry has more. Oscar Niemeyer's famous Itamarati Palace looking the worst for wear the morning after Brazil's Million Man March. The building which houses the foreign ministry was attacked by protesters on Thursday night, leaving windows smashed and debris strewn around the palace's moat and plaza. It was the most frenzied night of anti-corruption protests ten days after they began. Over a million people took to the streets in more than a hundred cities. In the country's largest city, Sao Paulo, there was similar damage, drawing condemnation from the protesters themselves. There was a bunch of vandals that came here bent on destruction. We are here to ask for our rights. The people are tired of all this. But the resolve of the demonstrators, angry with high taxes, rising inflation and poor public services, remains firm and their cause is popular. I think that the people are really doing the right thing. The first phase has begun. People taking to the street shows that we are not a population so conforming like the whole world thinks. Only things appear to be getting out of control. Someone needs to take the lead of this and guide people using all this energy and really achieve a positive change. The protests have embarrassed Gilmer Rousseff's government at a time when Brazil is hosting the Confederations Cup, a dress rehearsal for next year's Football World Cup. FIFA has denied it is considering cancelling the current tournament, as has been rumoured in Brazil. As for the president, she has cancelled a state visit to Japan to call a government crisis meeting. Now, there was another kind of protest in Egypt this Friday. Tens of thousands in the streets uh, showing their support for President Mohamed Morsi, getting their riposte in first in many cases, ahead of a planned anti-Morsi rally set for June 30th.